Some of you have asked me to help with this past paper question involving uh, functions, uh, graphing functions, and it will consist out of two parts. This part, uh, we're going to graph the, the function, and we're going to complete uh, the table of values. And the second part, um, we're going to answer questions about this graph. Yeah, we're going to uh, have a look at, uh, yeah, also past paper questions about the graph. Before we start again, um, this is a question from Cambridge Examination, so all credit goes to them. I did not create this question, I was just asked uh, by students uh, to help them solving this question. All right, there we go. What does it say? Um, complete this table of values for the function fx is 1 over x minus x squared, and x does not equal to 0, yeah? which makes sense because 1 divided by 0, that is not possible. And if you look at the table of values, indeed in the middle where it goes from negative to positive, there's like this yeah, shaded area because the graph doesn't exist where x is zero. Now, as you can see, I have already plotted some of the points, but it's important for you already to realize that um, where x is zero, yeah, there is no graph, okay? So this graph will consist out of two parts, okay? And... Um, well, let's have a go. Let, 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 let's start with uh, filling in or completing the, the table. Uh, that's for three points. That's a lot of points for doing relatively a small amount of work. Just make sure, especially when you put in a negative, when you square it, put some brackets around it. That's so bracket minus 0 0.2, bracket squared. Or plug in your calculator, minus 0 0.2 times minus 0 0.2. Anyway, if you do that properly, you're going to get minus 5. 0.04. If you put in a half properly, it's 1.75. And if you put in one properly, you get zero for y. Okay. And make sure to check one of my other videos where I show you that you can get this entire table of values in your scientific calculator. So actually, you don't have to do anything if you know how to use your calculator properly. Okay. What have I done so far? I've plotted the points that were already given to me. And, um, and have a look because you already see that right? it goes from negative it goes up 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 and then it goes down again yeah so i'm expecting that point of minus 0 0.2 uh, to go somewhere over here yeah because it's a curve like that and then my second part of the graph it starts very high at 4.96 and as you can see it goes all the way down so those two missing points should be somewhere in between that point and that point now for five points, yeah, that's what you get for this graph. Um, three points you get for plotting all of these ten points accurately. Yeah. So what is important? Important is that you read the scale properly. Yeah. So horizontally, it is ten little squares is one unit, so that makes each unit uh, or each little square zero point one. So when you're plotting it, you really got to do that accurately. And vertically, I only have five squares for one unit, so each unit is 0 0.2. So again, you get three points if you plot all of your points accurately. And I've done some of them already just to save time. So minus 0 0.2, minus 5.0.4, minus 5.04, I should say. So that is two steps in that direction, eh? minus 0 0.2. And then five, let me see, um, I should do that properly now. It's going to be over there. That's what I expected. Um, so the other two points, 0 0.5, 1.75, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. And then it's going to be over there. And you should do a better job than I do now uh, with a sharp pencil because on this tablet it's quite horrible actually to, to do it accurately. Anyway, the points are where I expected them to be. Again, it's going up, 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 and then it's going down. So I expect it to be somewhere over there. And then those two points should be somewhere in between. Okay, so that's three points for plotting those coordinates correctly. Then you get a point if your graph consists out of two separate parts, okay? So you get a point for that if it consists out of two separate parts. So do not join them. That is wrong because x cannot be zero. So you get a point if it consists out of two separate parts and your final points here so in total five points you get for the actual curves you draw okay so that's only one point now uh, again i'm going to attempt to do that on this tablet which is probably going to look quite horrible um it's a lot easier on paper with a pencil although even that is uh, can be quite difficult yeah it's a matter of practice um last thing i want to say is you got to look at the domain properly okay x is from minus 3 to minus 0 0.2, which means I've got to start here, 
but everybody will do that one correctly but i have to finish there yeah do not extend the line okay now you got to finish there and then again from 0 0.2 to 3 so from 0 0.2 you got to start there all the way to axis 3 okay so do not extend that line now i am going to attempt now to draw it so please don't laugh uh, again this is on a tablet and um yeah well you know what it's got to go through the points and well roughly yeah and um, this one or this part i should say okay well not too bad better than i was um uh, fearing actually um but on with um yeah with a pencil and on a piece of paper you should do a better job okay you should go exactly through those coordinates uh this side actually isn't too bad yeah but that is something i would now erase um and do again okay because it has to go exactly through that coordinates good well that was part one where we finish the table of values but your scientific calculator will do that for you if you know how to use it and where we got five points three for plotting those corners correctly one for making sure my graph consists out of two parts and my final point for the actual drawing of the two curves okay next part we're going to answer some questions about these two curves yeah about this function yeah and again loads and loads of points to be earned over there so i hope to see you at part two explainingmaths.com guys so check my site for more resources and do everybody a favor if this was useful like and share it please so i can help your friends too okay thank you very much bye bye